Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today we're going to play some Augroid Frost with um, a card I had to craft, so. <laughs> uh, Goliath. One thing I will say, I did play one game against Harold, and he kills this thing in one in one blow, which is pretty sad. <laughs> but uh, this was submitted by uh, uh, Joe Two Joe Twos. Um, he's been watching the channel for a while. He submitted decks before, so I did make one change to it. I took out a Baya and added White Frost. Um, because most of this stuff relies on either Frost being on the board or... Yeah, pretty much Frost has to be on the board except for the Cyclops. But, uh... Sleeping Giant, he's kind of like a full test for the Augroids. He just boosts everything by one. Imlareth and Caranthir for the Frost Synergy. Roy Decree to make sure we draw the Sleeping Giant. We got uh, Frightener, of course. <laughs> Jotun, more of an Aromancer, and uh, Frost. Aromancer does spawn Frost now. He's not a. It's not a spell, so it's really weird. Cyclops, preferably to ping off the Ice Giants. The Hounds are in here for the Frost synergy as well, and then the Ice Trolls. They're actually not that bad. If you get something under Frost, you can crack them for ten. So something that's like around the thirteen range. You can uh, you can pretty much kill it, and it only takes like two damage off it or three, which is pretty decent. And then Aridin, um either to pull a Wild Hunt Warrior or a Wild Hunt. Uh, if you really want to, you can pull a Hound. It's not optimal, but let's play a game. See how it goes. Skaligar and Center shall stand ever together. Axeman. Any last words? All right. So we drop that. These are pretty good. We got frosts in play. Lightning can kill a axman. Let's trade off one of these. All right. This seems good. Unfortunately, we go first. Player sleeping giant. No retreat, not one step. Alright, so it's it's the Axeman deck, or the the Build a Bear deck. He could pass here again. We got three frosts in hand, so hopefully we can whittle them down. We got four frosts in hand. Let's see how far we can go with them. Right tech, down. He played it in the frost though, which is kind of odd. Y'all 
Let's see how much we can get out of them. Steel. I don't think he stole anything. All right. I find it odd that he didn't play anything in the frost, uh, or out of the frost. Alright. So he's just going to keep resin this one, I guess? Probably Siri Nova as well. Mortvar. So he has carryover. by 11 he's three card or two cards up on us bow before modern Freya he don't like you okay <laughs> so we play Jotun Bring up the eight, eleven, eleven. He's losing six a turn, which is really nice. I wish this didn't get locked. Who's the courage to fight the belt, Carlos, eh? Unfortunately, everything he reses. Who's the courage to fight the battle? Twenty one. What? Uh. 
Yeah, he just keeps resin that one eight, and it it gives him like sixteen strength. If we weren't down two cards, we'd be in good shape. <laughs> Either with my shield or on it. So he is a 13 strength bear. He just has to beat Sigdrifa, or he just has to carry over Sigdrifa. As long as he can do that, he wins. Oh, Freya, they very need Lacerate. Oh, a heal. Alright, so we get that out of the way. We're up by 28. He can get it with one Berserker, I think. That's 50. He loses 6. He's got to play Siri Nova. Let's get this over with. Gerald Yurden. <laughs> he still gets it, but man. 64? No. 2 0 to Olaf. <laughs> not expect that there you go if you want to beat up on the uh the meta just play some agroid frost <laughs> uh thank you joe twos for the list much appreciated like i said if you want some, want me to play something i have all the cards pretty much i gotta craft a couple other ones but uh i got pretty much the full collection so if you want me to play something send me a link on uh Twitter. Uh, I'll put my Twitter in the comments. Just send me a direct message with the uh, Gwent DB of it and I'll give it a go. But like always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.